Hi guys, it's Amber Cranston, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome to my channel, and I got in my Bring Back My Bar uh, wax bars. Yay! I'm so excited. So I thought I would go ahead and give you my sn first sniffs impressions and, um, you know, my thoughts on all of them because I haven't ever warmed any of these so they're all brand new to me so I'm excited so let's just go ahead and dive into it um, first off we have a wink and a smile which Scentsy describes as fresh scent of tulips and daffodils in full bloom and rounded out with plummy lemonade It definitely is a floral, it's sweet. I do get the tulip. So it's a sweeter, like a spring floral. And then there is a sweetness to it, which must be that lemonade. That's nice, I like it. Okay, next up we have Amber Hollow. Now I heard this is a very divisive fragrance. There are, are many that hate the fragrance and then there are those that love and adore the fragrance. So Sensi describes it as clove leaf, cardamom, and dark amber spice up a warm cedarwood base. Yeah, this is very spicy, but there's not really sweetness. It's a savory spice. On cold, I like it. It's different. And I do get that cedar. It almost smells like cedar chips. Kind of the, the ones that you have in like a hamster cage. So I don't know how about how I feel about that. But it almost reminds me of what I imagine because I've never actually done it. But walking through a bazaar in India, it's that type of like super spicy, savory type fragrance. So I'm intrigued by this one. I can say on cold sniff though, I don't hate it. I actually, I think it's a pretty unique scent and I'm excited to try it. Okay, next up we have Apple S'mores. Harvest apples, cinnamon glaze, and a drop of coconut milk lend a tantalizing twist to classic toasted marshmallow, vanilla cream, and warm cedar wood. Yeah, it is an apple. It's like a red delicious apple. And there is a sweetness to it, like a marshmallow gooeyness. I don't really get a grant, it said graham cracker, right? Oh no, it doesn't say graham cracker. Okay, I was going to say I don't really get graham cracker. But I get an apple, I get a marshmallow type note. And then a slight wood. Hmm, that's interesting. We will see how that is melting. So that's apple s'mores. Next up is black currant bubbly. This one is... Let's see, champagne bubbles stir black currant, sweet orange, and vanilla sugar. Ooh, this one's strong. I do get currant. And there is a citrus. And there is like an effervescent quality to it. It's bubbly, definitely. Hmm. It's kind of candy-like. It's a little, I don't know if that's the current coming out in it, but it, it smells almost like fake fruit, like candy to me. So black currant bubbly. All right, next up we have Cutie Pie Cupcake. Let's see, sweet clementine and yellow cake batter with vanilla and sugary icing. This one smells, this one smells like Trix cereal to me. It's got that um, really sharp um, candy, fake-ish lemon, orangey smell that you get from Trix. And then with a cakey component. 
Hmm, interesting. It totally smells like tricks. So that is Cutie Pie Cupcake. Next we have Cozy Chai. Warm, spicy cinnamon, vanilla bean, and caramel. This totally smells like pumpkin chai. Um, that was from the Harvest Trio, the pumpkin, gorgeous pumpkin trio. Um, except no pumpkin. Super spicy tea, milky, milky tea. Um, but very similar to that one. So if you liked the pumpkin, um, I think it was called pumpkin chai, right? Something like that. Um, then you should like that one. It's a very cozy, comforting type spicy scent. Okay, Central Park Pralines. A decadent confection of rich roasted pecans, buttery caramel, and cinnamon sugar. Definitely nutty. And, um, yeah, pecan, definitely. That's the most prominent. And you get a sugariness with it, brown, like brown sugar. That's nice. If you like nutty fragrances, um, gourmand type nutty fragrances, you should really like that one. Okay, next we have Cashmere Pear. Slip into sensual white amber, Madagascar vanilla, silky pear, and warm red ginger. A blend as smooth and luxurious as fine spun cashmere. Ooh, this one's pretty. I was worried because um, regular cashmere came out over the summer, bring back my bar, and I hated that one. I hated it. It smelled like diaper pails to me. But this one's nice. I do get a pear note, and it's like body care. Um, and then a sweet muskiness, that amber. That one's pretty. I think it would make a good bedroom type fragrance. So that is cashmere pear. Next, we have lavender and white balsam. Lavender freshened by wintry white balsam and crisp amber. This one smells like a um, high-end lavender soap almost to me. It's almost, it's like an herbal lavender, not super sweet. There is a touch of sweetness, but it's not super sweet, um, like fuzzy blanket. It's more of that herbal lavender. And then I do get a balsam. It's not a heavy, overpowering evergreen. It's softer. And what else? Oh, the amber. Yeah, there's kind of a musky that's probably the sweet coming through, a musky sweetness. Uh, interesting, so if you are into lavender, I'm sure you would like that one, we'll see. Again, all these, all these um, on cold change when they're melting, so I always give them a try when I melt them, you know, even if on cold, I'm not a huge fan of them because they can end up changing and I can end up loving them. So always give your bars a chance. Okay, Painted Leaves is next. Let's see. Wander through Blue Spruce, Red Maple, and Golden Woods. Wow, this is like a full-on outdoorsy wet leaves. This is really good. If you want that outdoorsy walking through the woods and there are like um, leaves on the ground that are damp and you get that fresh air type of feel as well. That's what I'm getting from this one. This one is really nice. That is painted leaves. All right, next we have marshmallow mint. 
This is Buttermint and Marshmallow Make Merry Beneath an Amber Veil. Mm. This is very similar to the brick, the holiday brick that just came out. Um, what was that one called? Marshmallow Mint Cocoa. It's similar to that, but no cocoa note in it. It's just like a soft um, mint, like it said, buttermint. That's what I'm getting, right? Yeah, buttermint. That is nice. If you love minty fragrances, I think that one will be a good one. Next, we have My Dear Watson. I already know this is probably going to be cologne. Refreshing bergamot contrasted with mint, cedar, and suede. Yeah, masculine, cologne -ish, but it's not overwhelmingly cologne -ish. I get that um, citrusy bergamot. I do get a slight wood note. Um, it's almost aquatic in feeling to me too. That's nice. That I think would be a cologne scent that I wouldn't mind melting. So that's my dear Watson. Okay, next. We have Peppermint Dreams, another, um, this is like a chocolate mint flavor um, scent. Let's see, Peppermint Dreams, a warm rush of chocolate cupcake sweetness cooled by a blast of fresh mint. Yes. This is like um, a Peppermint, definitely, whereas the um, marshmallow mint was more a butter mint. This is peppermint. And then a darker chocolate. Ooh, I really like this one. Oh, that is really good. I like it a lot. So that is Peppermint Dreams. Next is Plum and White Woods. Oh, let me read it. Sorry. Sweet raspberry preserves and damson plum weave through vanilla orchid. Hmm. This is pretty. I get the plum. There is a tart berry note, which must be the raspberry. And there is, it's kind of got a body care feel to it a little bit, which must be oh, the uh, vanilla orchid. That must be what gives it that kind of perfumey, a body care type feel. That's pretty. I think that one might be a good bedroom scent as well. So that is Plum and White Woods. I'm getting close to the bottom of the box. All right, I know this is a fan favorite. I'm excited to melt it. Sweet Plum Pastry. Let us find it. Okay. Black Plum and Toasted Coconut Garnish a Marshmallow Cloud. Sorry, I know the TV's right behind me. My husband's watching something right now. So, ooh, that is really good. It's like a bright plum. And I do get like a bakery component to it. Um, and it's toned down um, with like a vanilla. It's a soft vanilla. Oh wow, that is really nice. I'm excited to melt it. Okay, next is pumpkin marshmallow. Sticky sweet marshmallow spooned onto fresh baked pumpkin and wrapped in a graham cracker crust. Oh wow, that's like pumpkin. That's like authentic pumpkin. Like from a can with no spice. And then I do get marshmallow. There's like a gooey marshmallow. I'm not really getting graham cracker crust, 
but I'm getting the pumpkin and marshmallow. Wow, that is really authentic pumpkin. Oh, I like it, but at the same time, it's kind of throwing me a little bit. Oh, we'll see. Once it melts, we'll see how I feel. So that's pumpkin marshmallow. Okay, I think I'm down to my final four. Vanilla Oud. Vanilla Oud is sweet vanilla grounded by leather and earthy oud wood. Oh. This one's nice. Yes, I do get like a leather woodsy Ness. I get almost like a a tobacco leaf feel to it too and then the, a like a sultry vanilla oh I like that that is a really nice scent so vanilla oud and then we have vanilla suede this one is Classic comforting vanilla combined with rich amber and hints of sandalwood. Okay, this one is brighter than vanilla oud. It's a more of a cologne type fragrance to me. Whereas vanilla oud was more of like an earthy outdoorsy type of feel. Yeah, there's some sort of like bright, I know it doesn't say anything about any sort of citrus, but I almost get like a bergamot. And it's like a masculine cologne type fragrance. Not bad. Um, we'll see. So that's vanilla suede. Okay. Quiet Grove. A soft spell of bergamot, jasmine, and sandalwood. Oh, wow. This reminds me of something. It's like a fresh scent. Kind of. Um, yeah, the bergamot in it. That's what I'm getting because it's citrusy. It reminds me, I just remember what it reminds me of. It reminds me of um, Goose Creek has a scent called um, white tea and bergamot. That's what this reminds me of. I, the, the bergamot is really strong, which is why I think it is. That's nice. We'll see how it does when it melts. So that's Quiet Grove. And last one, right? Yep, last one. Sweet Amber and Freesia. And now where are you? Okay, crisp layers of Rubina Blossom, Freesia, and Sweet Amber. This is probably the most floral out of all of them. This is definitely more of like a, free, a spring fragrance. It's a little too floral for my liking. Um, but it's not powdery. It's not powdery floral. Uh, you get the, it's the freesia and the verbena. There is kind of a brightness to it. Um, I'm not really picking up much on any sort of amber. I mainly get the verbena blossom and the freesia. So if you like um, floral, like bright floral fragrances, um, the kind, think about the ones that you usually smell during the springtime, I think you would like this. So that is Sweet Amber and Freesia. But again, I will melt this because I could end up really liking it once it's melted. So anyway, guys, there you go. That was all the fragrances. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, all of them, last time I checked, were still available. They were still for sale. Um, my link is down in the description for you if you don't have a consultant and would like to have me as your consultant. 
Uh, thanks for spending some time with me, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Until next time, TTFN, ta-ta for now.